So in this box, we have the Drop Labs EP01 Haptic Sneakers. Here's a thank you note. So we've got some 3.5 millimeter cables here with what looks like magnetic connections. And we're gonna see what they do in a bit. And in here, we've got a pair of Drop Labs socks. Our love language is socks, so here's a pair to say thanks. You're going to be one of the first people to experience EP01 and your feedback is going to help shape the future of our tech. So be sure to hit us up and you can see their social handle right there. Do go ahead and check them out. There they are. Wow. The first thing I noticed is got a little bit of weight to it, you know, compared to my other sneakers. They're actually not bad in design. They remind me of my uh, Jordans. So I hope they're comfortable because I can feel the weight. If you've seen other videos on this, you may see an all black version, but this is a new color with the white strip and I think it looks a lot better than all black. There's a little ribbon that I can pull here. So let's see what else we get. Okay, there's a few more accessories. Quick start guide, which I'm probably gonna need. A Drop Lab sticker. A charger. And a shoe bag. A shoe bag is included. Awesome. I'm pretty sure nobody's done this, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to weigh these shoes. 600 grams. So 600 grams per shoe. So that's 1.2 kgs when you're wearing both of them. And just for comparison's sake, here are my regular Jordans. Put them on top. 320 grams so they are double the weight from my regular jordans now these are a unique pair of sneakers or trainers as we like to call them in the uk now drop labs describe them as the only haptic shoe made for gaming movies music vr and lots more now they are designed to give you a full body sound experience so how do they work well the shoes have built-in bluetooth and 360 degree haptic feedback. So you've got some unique technology built in which converts audio into vibrations. So whether you're into gaming, watching movies or listening to music, you'll be able to feel those vibrations from your feet through your entire body, giving you an immersive experience like no other. So I've seen videos on this. I've actually seen Louis' video. There is no way you're gonna know what this is like unless you've tested it for yourself. Okay, so I'm wearing the shoes. I don't have a team to help me out. So I've got one iPhone shooting from this side and i got another iPhone shooting from that side. And it's an experiment. We're gonna see if the shots come out okay. So first thing is first, are they comfortable? And yeah, I can say they are very comfortable. Although when you stamp your foot, you'll feel a bit of a vibration. And straight away, if I have to comment on the design, I'm not a shoelaces man. I don't like showing my shoelaces. I always tuck them in. I don't actually have anywhere that I can tuck these in. So you can't hide the shoelaces um, possibly under there. I could try and tuck them under this side and see how they look. I guess that works. You tell me what looks better, shoelace hidden or shoelace showing? So to switch them on and pair with your phone, press and hold the button for 2.5 seconds and release when the light pulse is blue so first of all you pair up the shoes and you can see it says they're connected and it shows you the battery information next you select your headphones to pair so and it's scanning for headphones and i've got my huawei freebuds studio and here they are so connect and we're done headphones sync and from here you'll be able to adjust the sync um, if you feel the music's not in sync properly so we've got to listen to music first before we do that and just play some sounds. Wow. I'm <laughs> I am absolutely amazed at what I'm experiencing right now. So I've got my music playing in my headphones. Spotify is what we're using. All the beats and the bass can be felt in my feet. Now I've turned down the volume on my headphones, so the music's a lot lower in my ears, but the intensity of that vibration is exactly the same. 
It actually feels like you've got multiple bass drivers at the bottom of the soul. One of my family members just came up and said, who is blasting that music? And obviously there was no music they could hear because I got headphones on. Um, they were referring to that thumping bass in the ceiling. That thumping bass was my shoes. <laughs> so it was actually so powerful. So people on the ground floor could actually hear that bass and it sounded like someone's uh, blasting a bassy track. Now I've turned that off. I'm gonna turn it, the bass on now. You, you see how powerful it is. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Calm down. All right, so that's lowest in intensity, yeah? Lowest intensity. A slight bass there. Nice little vibration going on. Now, if you pinch to zoom, you can see what's happening there. All right, turn it up a little bit more. That is sick, I tell you guys. If you're into music and you're into your bass, you're gonna love these. Yeah, all right. Let's turn it up more. That's not even halfway. Halfway. This is the best example I can give you guys. All right, I'm gonna put it on max now and show you what happens. Max. Over here, you, we have the low latency gaming package. So you've got one cable, which has got a left and right magnetic connector, which connects directly to the back. Grab the right connector and connect it to the right shoe. Left connector connects to the left shoe. You then have a splitter cable, which I've already attached. And if you look carefully, the splitter cable has a shoe symbol and a headphone symbol. And then this would simply connect to your game controller. In my case, my PS5 game controller. So I've now plugged in my gaming headset to the splitter cable. You can use any, but I'm using my Trust gaming headset. And then the front end of that splitter cable simply plugs into the bottom of the game controller. And in my case, that's the PS5 game controller. Now, quick look at the smartphone app before we play a game. Now, over here, you have something called filters. And it gives you five choices. You've got Lush, Velvet, and you can see the explanations of each next to the names. You've got Bright, Dramatic, and the last one, Seismic, which is designed for FPS games. So I've selected that choice. And another great feature is the button lights can be customized. So the lights on these sneakers are right now blue. You can make them green or orange or any other color that you want to highlight on your shoes. I'm gonna do green and, and I'll show you what they look like in a second. So you can still hear party chat and you can hear their voices vibrate in your feet. So I'm gonna start shooting. Oh my God, are you joking? I can absolutely hear every gunshot. And music in movies sound great. Playing games is where this shines because you can hear every explosion, every bullet. It can be felt. Oh 
Wow, felt that napalm strike. to be the most incredible experience you can get from a pair of headphones and a pair of shoes. So that was the Drop Labs EP01 haptic sneakers. Now this rarely happens. In a whole year we might see three or four pieces of tech which aims to change the game. It's when a company makes a product that we have not seen or experienced before. It takes a lot of kahunas and money and risk to do something like this. Well, let me tell you right now, these sneakers slash trainers have simply blown my mind. I love bass. My car has twin subs in the boot. I'm all about that beeline, but I've never experienced bass through my feet running up my body. It feels so good, almost therapeutical. It actually feels like I'm getting a light massage. No idea if it's good for you or any medical benefits to these but it sure damn feels good. Now the best part is you can adjust that bass. You don't have to have it on full whack all the time. Sometimes you just want to mellow out with some slow jams and the option is there to turn the bass intensity right down or even off. Now the shoes are water resistant so you don't need to worry about them getting wet. You can achieve six hours of battery life and around 60 minutes to charge them right back up. It's something new that has to be tried to understand they are certainly not cheap at 299 but it's an experience which has not existed before and it's not a gimmick that you use once and put right away. This is something that you will feel that you need to try again and again and I myself can't wait to put them on and go for a walk. So wearing them outside and playing my favourite tracks was amazing. It made me feel like I was in a music video. Now the experience was simply mind blowing that I can't wait to wear them again on the train or on the bus and see how people react. Now gaming was insane. To feel every bullet and explosion is unreal. Watching movies was also very immersive and I absolutely loved listening to my music with that super bass running through my body. Now are they durable? How long will they last? Only time will tell. But I am wearing these now as my everyday trainers and if I learn anything new or any updates I will certainly share them with you guys in a pinned comment. And with that being said I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.